Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for March the 8th of 2021. Well, it is titled Three Tales of Comet Neowise. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image taken last summer of Comet Neowise. And we saw a number of pictures of this comet last summer as it became a very nice sight in the sky. And in this case, what we're looking at are the three different tails. And we can see those here. And let's label some of the information here. And what we see starting down at the bottom where you see solar wind, that's the direction of the sunlight. So sunlight is pushing those tails straight back. You see right above that and to the left is the comet motion. So the comet is moving to the left. And that is leaving that white dust tail on the right hand side behind. So it lags behind in the orbit because it is composed of slightly heavier particles. Now down at the center is the comet nucleus that is completely hidden and invisible to us. But that is what forms all of the material. So while we see the dust tails and the the tails and the coma, uh, those are only a small portion. Those are only small portions of the comet in reality, while they may look like they cover a lot of space. There's very little material there. It's just a very thin material, very spread out. And in fact, almost a very good vacuum. If you were even to count the number of particles there, it would come nowhere near uh, even uh, anything like an, a very high atmospheric concentration on the Earth. So we see the coma there and we see the different colorings. The green of the coma is caused by carbon. Carbon atoms evaporated off the nucleus will give a green color when excited. So we often saw a green glow associated with comet Neowise and other comets as well. Now the tails that we see, we see the dust tail, the large broad dust tail off to the right hand side. Going straight back, we see the blue ion tail, which is composed of lighter po particles, individual ions or atoms that are being pushed straight back by the solar wind. And you note that they go straight back from where the solar wind is showing, whereas the dust tail kind of curves off to the right a little bit. Now the third tail that we see is the uh, red sodium tail. Now that's a much more rare thing to see. This is caused by sodium uh, sodium atoms, and it is a relatively rare with comets. However, we were able to see it with comet Neowise, and it was there part of the time this sum this summer last past summer, when the comet was nicely visible. So at this point, we're actually able to see three different tails. Uh, we can see that all of them are pushed back by the sun. So by st solar radiation pressure and the solar wind, push those straight back. And the one that lags behind is the heavier particles in the dust tail. They're a little bit heavier, so they have a tendency to lag behind the rest of the comet. And everything is formed from that cometary nucleus, something about the size of a city that would not even be visible to this scale, being only a few miles across, uh, concentrated at the center there. But when it heats up coming close to the sun, it actually gives us the coma and the tails that we see in our image today. So that was our picture of the day for March the 8th of 2021. It was titled Three Tales of Comet Neowise. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Mars 360. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.